Hi and welcome to this week's video review session with No Bones About It Puppy Day School. Uh, this week what we're going to do is we are going to take a concept and I'm going to work through it with um, three of the puppies. So you'll get to see the same concept uh, being, being introduced to all of the pups um, and it's called Leave It. Usually when, uh, when I talk about leave it, we have a grouping of what we call leave it, drop it, and take it. And they're all somewhat related in the way that we're going to, uh, we're gonna be practicing and introducing. So leave it basically means it's not yours, you can't have it, you're never getting it, all right? So don't think of it as a temporary solution of, of like, oh, I'm just gonna ask you to leave that for a second. Leave it means it's off limits completely. So that's important to remember when we're practicing. Um, so how do we teach that in a way that we utilize positive reinforcement? Because it's clearly something that the dog wants. So how do we convince them that that's something they should wanna do? Where's the value in that for them? So, so what we do is we do this um, very methodically where the puppy realizes that if they make the correct decision and they tr stop trying to steal something, come here, pop, 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 that they actually do win the game and get something. So I'm gonna start off with some kibble. I'm gonna just take um, three or four pieces of kibble. Can you come I'm around here? I'm going to um, just close my fist and put it right in front of the puppy. And I'm gonna let them, I have to kind of let them go through this whole thing of like, how do I get those? How do I steal those? That's basically what's happening. Um, so I need to be super patient in the beginning and just kind of wait this out. And then when the puppy takes even a minute break, I open my fist again. And when they try to get back in there, I close it. Take it. Take it. So you see that magical moment where the puppy realizes they sort of pull away and they pause. And then I reach in my hand and I give them a take it. And as long as they keep trying to lower my hand just a little bit even just changing things slightly makes it a little bit different for the dog okay and if they ah, 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 and if they go for it at any point I just close my fist and if they lie down that's fine I'm gonna keep my hand at nose level take it So there should be no forward motion of that nose into my hand where the treats are. She's doing such a good job. Take it. Good girl. So that's our, our basic introduction. That's phase one of this exercise. I'm going to move on with another puppy and show you phase two and phase three. Okay. So phase one is simply hands um, or treats in my fist using an open close until the puppy stops trying to steal, and then they get a ticket. Okay, but no words yet. We're not using the word leave it yet. That was very good, very good, very good. All right, so we're here with Susie Greenberg, and we are, again, working on first introductions to our phase one of leave it. And it's funny because Depending on the dog and depending on their, how food motivated they are, this can be easier or harder. Dog that's not quite as food bonkers, this phase, this step goes really easily. Very good, excellent job. Okay, so that's phase one again. Let's look at what phase two is. Phase, so phase two, is that we're taking these treats and we're putting them on the ground and we're gonna use our hand to cover and uncover. The concept's the same, but we've sort of changed locations and 
any of the most minute changes we make in training are new for a dog. So plus like stuff on the ground for a dog is like fair game, man. There you go. Take it. You can see how she backed herself away a little bit. That's really common. Puppies will be like, ooh, I just gotta pull myself. Good, take it. So I got a whole take it. And she's gonna keep getting to take it. I'll pause in between for a few seconds. Take it. That's awesome. Take it. Who oh, is so brilliant? Oh my goodness, you should have a girl. Did you go slow? She was excellent job. Okay, so I'm back. Here we go with Poncho. We are working on phase one of Leave It. So again, I'm just, I'm kind of showing him my hand because he keeps wanting, there's like nothing in here, but he keeps trying to move forward towards my other hand. I really want him to, to kind of hold still as I'm, hey, and this is also common. It's like, okay, I'm not getting anything. I'm bored. I'm out of here. So we need to keep it, we need to sort of keep things interesting. I'll flash in my hand again. I find it easy sometimes to, to put my hand to actually rest my fist on my knee so that I am not inclined to do this because that makes the puppy want to come after it even more. So just to remind myself, I kind of plant my, my hand there. So I just do this sort of open close. Take it. Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to go to phase two again. I'm going to take those treats and I'm going to put them on the ground, cover them with my hand. It's a little bit harder for you to see this probably. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take these, hey, come here. I'm gonna put these right here. Maybe you can see them a little bit better when they're not in the bed. Again, even though the concept is the same, don't steal these, they're on the ground. Why wouldn't my puppy eat stuff on the ground? It's fair game. So I just uncover them, cover them when the puppy comes back. Uncover, cover. So when that puppy looks at those treats, knows they're right there and chooses to not go in, that's awesome. Very good, take it. Take it, good job. Very good, good job. Oh, so good. Very proud of you, it's very hard. Take it. Once your dog understands that it's your choice game, you can start to use the word leave it. So as I'm putting something out or my dog sees something, I can say leave it. But your dog has to be solid with the, with the choice part before I start adding the word, the cute leave it. Take it. Okay, and then I'm always doing a take it. Okay, so with the younger puppies, we demonstrated um, phase one, which was in my hand, phase two, which was covering up on the ground, which is what I'm doing with Sophie right now, but I'm also making her really wait long, long, long times in between rewards. Take it. And then phase three is where we add movement. So I'm gonna show her the treats. I'm gonna say, leave it, leave it. Try that again. Leave it. I'm gonna drop it and she still shouldn't go for it. Leave it. Yes, take it. I can take a treat out of my hand. Leave it. Take it. Take it. So movement is way harder. Dropping something. Leave it. Take it. Um, so once we get to this point, leave it, 
So it's still very controlled. The dog is not moving, meaning she's not standing. I'm not having her walk around. Um, but she's solid with the phase one. She's solid with the phase two. She's solid with leave it with the phase three, which is dropping all kinds of treats. Then I can start to really expand um, the, the ways that we practice this. Take it, take it. Meaning I can start to be more sporadic, like when the dog's not thinking about it, I can put like uh, something on the coffee table like a place where your dog might normally want to steal stuff from a, a coffee table and practice leave it there. Um, I could put it, sometimes I just put it on a, like a kitchen chair and I practice leave it. When the dog starts to get even better than that, then when I'm cooking, I will intentionally take things and just knock them on the floor in a place where I can cover it up with my foot if the dog makes the wrong choice. So not too far away where it's a mad dash, but I can still sort of control the outcome. Um, so the dog starts to understand that that this is we can take this skill and broaden it to many 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 areas now I still have to make sure that the dog gets rewarded for the leave it part if what I'm at let's say I'm asking them to leave a piece of chicken and I give them a piece of kibble as a reward mm, that's really not gonna work in the long run I need to make sure what I'm offering this dog is of of equal or greater value than the thing I'm asking them to leave. That's where the, the desire, the motivation comes in for the dog. It's like, okay, well, I left that stupid piece of kibble, but I got a piece of chicken. So why wouldn't I do that? So those are the kinds of things that, um, that you need to keep in mind when we're practicing this exercise. Um, so I hope you guys have a great weekend. Start integrating that into some of your uh, practice sessions and we will see you guys next week. Take care.